all right everybody i am back again um welcome to the channel i still have not been able to find any dragon ball super cards um but i was able to find a lightning overdrive or well three lightning overdrive and an ancient guardian um youtube pack or Yu-Gi-Oh pack um so we will open those up i know i'm kind of going away from what my channel is um about but uh as soon as i get some dragon ball super cards we'll get back to that thank you all for watching hit that like button and subscribe all right so i think we'll do the ancient guardians last since i only have one of those All right, the Lightning Overdrive have nine card per pack, and uh, it is one foil card per uh, pack. So, let's see what we got. It's been a long time since I did anything with Yu Yu-Gi-Oh!, but they do have some pretty cool cards if I can get this just right. There we go. All right, and there is the hollow. it's four cards and then that should be the foil card at the very back there's one binary blader sunvine crossbreed bujin mahitotsu that looks really cool war rock generations pegasus twin saber terror under root and Rocks Rose Dragon. I really liked the dragon cards. To me, they were, when I was a kid, they were always the coolest ones. I guess that's probably because Blue Eyes White Dragon was the best one you could get when I was a kid. So, but in these packs, there are three cards. The, uh, Rudy or Ruddy Rose Dragon, uh, Ultimate Dra Dragonic Utopia Ray, and Amazing Time Ticket. So, I guess those are, in theory, the cards that you would uh, truly like to get out of these packs. I haven't followed Yu-Gi-Oh! in forever, but to me, any... Any trading card is worth uh, opening and kind of getting into. My favorite is uh, Dragon Ball Super. Um, I just truly enjoyed Dragon Ball when I was growing up. Um, anyhow, it was my introduction to anime and a lot of other things. So, Screams of the Branded. It's a really cool card. One by one. Black Eyes Plunder. DDD Super Sight King Zero Maxwell. Amazement Special. One Kuri Way. War Rock Generations. And Branded in White. That is really cool. I really like that, uh, that art. That 
go. That's fantastic. Now in this set, uh, you want, if I can read it, uh, it's really hard to read the first one. Something the Overlord, Dulcificord, Coolia, and uh, Ersarctic Serpentarium. So, these are all. <clears throat> <clears throat> Relatively cool looking cards. So I don't destroy the package too terribly much. So, there's the Ancient Guardians. I haven't followed Yu-Gi-Oh! in a long time, but... Uh, I used to play it a lot, and a buddy of mine... He, he used to buy Japanese cards off of a friend. I'm assuming... With this, since there's only seven, that it's three... Maybe not. Damage Reptile... Venomonica, the deity of poisonous snakes. Yeah, I was wrong. Uh, Sulfacord Harmonia is the holographic. Ersarctic Megabilis. Viper's Rebirth. Sorry. And Ogdoatic Origin. Oh, one more. Wavering Eyes. I guess I was wrong on the card trick on that, but... Oh, cool. Sulfur Chord Harmonia. I don't believe any of these are super rare or any of that. Just the normal rares, I would assume. Branded in white. I really like the artwork on that. Rocks Rose Dragon. And the Springens Merry Maker. So, it's a good deal. Thank you all for joining me uh, on this opening. As I said, as soon as I get some more uh, Dragon Ball uh, Super Cards, I will be opening those. Um, if you enjoyed the videos, please like and subscribe. Uh, let me know how I'm doing in the comment section. Uh, any and all feedback is appreciated. Thank you all so much and have a wonderful day, night, evening, or otherwise. Bye-bye.